Hello people, this is the problem that you're supposed to do homework uh, next Tuesday and uh, let me see now, uh, it is a bent rod a rod like this which is bent, it's chapter 2 of your textbook <clears throat> and uh, notice that the bottom of the, the rod is, uh, is clamped and this other face is subjected to a load which causes this uh, structure to go into both bending and torsion it's the standard type of problem that you do in your strength of material, third year strength of material book. <coughs> All right, so uh, I'm not going to change the material properties, I just use the default properties of steel. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and make the part. By the way, there are no planes of symmetry in this problem because of the way the load is. If the load is applied in a different direction, there may be one plane of symmetry here. Uh, depending on how it's done. So on this plane, I will sketch a, a circle of, what's the base? Uh, circle, I think this base circle, radius one. Okay, radius one. So uh, there we are. This is uh, radius one, <coughs> diameter two. Exit. Now, uh, this problem, if I pad, I get the straight cylinder up, but this is not pad, it should not be pad, it should be ripped, so, uh, because it's going around bent. So on a convenient plane, on that vertical plane, I will draw the, let's call it the spine, or the guiding curve of that, uh, of that uh, uh, bent rod. So it goes like this, then wrap it up, so that you make a circular, you know, circular uh, fillet here. So let's dimension these things. First of all, the radius of the circle is 1. <coughs> this is 1. Uh, then we have some dimensions, for example, from here to here. This is given to be 8. Okay, and then uh, from uh, here to here, I think it's given to be uh, I don't know, is it 5 or 6? I'm not sure, so let's find out. Uh, yep, 5. Exit. There we are. Now we're going to do a rib, not pad, rib. And rib is right there. It says what is the profile, the profile is a circle, and what is the center curve is that sketch that we created. Now, Remember that if this center curve or, or the size of the center curve or the size of the profile are uh, unusual, then you may not actually be to create may be able to create this. Okay, so let's apply out of uh, let's uh, apply material properties on this metal, <coughs> make it out of steel uh, on the part. This part, by the way, was already generated in an earlier uh, earlier assignment that you did lab that you did. Okay, so uh, uh, should I save it? File, save management, save as, desktop, new folder, call it bent rod, bent rod, <coughs> all right, now we're going to go to generative structure analysis. <coughs> uh, analysis simulation generative structure analysis right away it's going to get meshed you can look at the mesh or predict the cursor there right visualization you see that you may have to change the size but uh, these video clips are not assuming that you're going to do mesh visualization or uh, mesh refinement or uh, accuracy studies that, that's fine so, uh, uh, deactivate this. All right, the bottom of this uh, rod is uh, clamped completely. And a force is applied in the, I think 2,000 pound force is applied in direction X. So, uh, look at the force. There is a force on that face in the direction X. Negative 2,000 or 2,000, depending on how you want to look at it. And delete this zero. And there we are. Okay, let me change the rendering here. You can see that it's right there. Now, notice that 
uh, in this problem, if the load is applied like that, there's no plane of symmetry. However, if the load was applied in the y direction or in the z direction, then there will be a plane of symmetry, which is that y. You have to cut the object into two halves and then put a surface slider on that face. Okay. So uh, uh, I think in this case we're all done. Just let's just run it. By the way, this problem of solid, solid elements is a lot more efficient if you solve it with beam elements that we haven't discussed yet. Yet. Okay, so let's check the deformation. Needless to say, this is the kind of thing that you expect if you animate it. You said it looks like that. This is a combined bending torsion problem. Uh, so if you look at the Barmisa stress and you change this, uh, <coughs> you see now rendering into material shading. It looks like that. Uh, left click on the legend, drag it here, and click on it again. Uh, the biggest stress seems to be at the at the wall and in this corner, and it depends depend on the relative size of these things. If, for example, this this piece is too short, then uh, in all likelihood uh, the biggest stress is going to be at that uh, at the wall. If this is too long on the on the other hand, this horizontal piece is too long. Then in all likelihood, the biggest stress is going to be uh, there. It, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a fight between the sizes of these things, okay? Uh, all right, and we're going to stop this.